Hi guys, it's Mikey, you're watching The Daily Trans, and it's Saturday. I've got about five minutes, I don't know why I'm doing ten, five minutes to make this video before I have to shoot off and go to a party where I'll be recording my next video, which I'll update with tomorrow, because I figure that this day is going to be a much more interesting day in the life than I thought yesterday was going to be. It turned out being a very interesting day in the life. Anyway, we are talking about to medically transition or not to medically transition. For me, that was never even really a question. For the, from the moment I knew that I was trans and that I identified as a boy, all my dysphoria started to make sense and it made sense why I wanted like you know a lower voice and a differently shaped body and I found out that I could get that through medical transition so it was immediate. In fact I've wanted less and less medical transition as I've moved on although I think that's more to do with doing more research on it and probably partially to do with being more comfortable with myself now. When I first came out as trans, I didn't have that much information about transition and I knew it was kind of easy for trans girls, so I kind of assumed it was easy for trans guys as well. So I wanted hormones and I wanted chest surgery and I wanted, I guess, a phalloplasty, but I didn't know what it was called back then. I thought they could, you know, basically make me look exactly and function exactly like a cis guy. I obviously have done more research now and have discovered not only the, like, pros and cons of each surgery, but the prices. So for me now, bottom surgery is much less of an option given the two current ones that we have. Hormones was never not an option for me. I think there was maybe a two month period where I was really worried about my singing voice and I considered not going on hormones because I didn't want to damage my singing voice. But um, at the end of the day, my dysphoria just kind of won out and I was like, look, I need to be on them, you know, and if I have to sacrifice my voice, well, either I'm sacrificing who I am as a man or I'm sacrificing who I am as a musician and I play four other instruments, you know, there's always going to be music there. Thankfully it hasn't destroyed it, in fact my voice has just kept getting better and it's something I'm more comfortable with now as well because it sounds more masculine, which is really cool. So I think in terms of other people transitioning medically or physically, you just have to think about what you want and what you're comfortable with. I think it's really down to a bunch of things. I mean, obviously, if you're not in a point in your life where you can safely medical tra medically transition, then it's not a good option. If you're considering buying hormones off the street or getting them from someone else, then it might not be a good idea. If you're working somewhere where you can't be out as trans and you have to live as your assigned sex, then that's probably not a great thing. But I, for me, I it was just going with what I was comfortable with and what I felt was right for me and I think that that's probably just what everyone else should do. That more and more there are guys that are having certain levels of surgery or certain levels of hormones or hormones without surgery or surgery without hormones or nothing or everything and you don't have to conform to any one particular way of transitioning. I know this a lot from the fact that I'm an effeminate trans guy because when I was coming out before Tumblr everything everywhere and every message I got from everyone was that I was too girly to be a man and that I couldn't wear my hair like this because it's not manly enough and that I couldn't talk with my hands because I'm not manly enough and that I had to walk differently and speak differently and wear different clothes and I wasn't allowed to wear colours and I wasn't allowed to express feelings and I had to listen to different music and watch different TV shows and I think that whilst that is slowly easing off in terms of social transition, there's still a lot of pressure on a lot of people to medically transition, especially from the kind of cis sexist point of view that people come from where they're like, I'll call you a man once you have a dick, I'll call you a man once you look like a man, I'll call you a man when you can grow a beard, and all this horrible crap. Go with what you feel comfortable with, because at the end of the day, if you do something that you're not comfortable with to impress or to even just satisfy and placate people who don't respect you as a guy anyway, you're not going to end up respecting yourself and you're probably going to end up feeling worse and more dysphoric because there's still things with your body that you aren't comfortable with. I feel really proud of myself for shooting that out so quickly. I'm off to go have a shower and then partay and I will make sure I film everything for the day in the life. And I guess I'll probably do tonight and tomorrow because my days seem to be like from about 7pm until like 5pm the next day. It's a side effect of the fact that I wake up at 5.30 and work weekdays five days a week and then on weekends I'm like must have all the night in the world and do all the partying. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.